Okay, hi YouTube. Um, right, another little trick I've done. I'm trying to use my rocket stove and convert it into a wood gasifier as well as the rocket stove. So I'm actually using my rocket stove but modified it to be able to gasify the wood um, without damaging the rocket stove or anything like that or altering it anyway. So I'm going to try this out. It's the first time I've lit, in it, uh, I've lit it up. <laughs> so I'm going to see how it's going to be. I'm going to put a little little methylated spirits in there just to give it a a quick start on the top. Got a match here, put some wax in it, uh, a few sticks down the bottom, down the centre of it. Let's took that. Okay. I'm just going to leave this running for a while. Hopefully, it will take. Whoops! It's getting quite hot there. And this is the uh, the top of it. I'm going to put this on. And as it starts to get hot, I'm hoping that uh, we will start to get uh, gasification occurring as the secondary air comes up between the two tubes and introduce at the top. In so doing, um, uh, what it should do is reduce reduce any smoke. So we'll see. Now I might have to uh, mess about with this a few times to get it right, but we'll see. This is the first time, first experiment, so I thought I'd just record it. It's burning at the moment, very slowly though, and it is smoking a little bit, but not much. quite breezy out here, that's the other thing. So I'm not sure as I've done the right thing there. We'll see. And since the wind is blowing towards me, I'm going to turn the, uh, the feed tube towards it. Maybe that will help. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that helps. <laughs> mm. Now we're getting a little, little air in there. And no smoke at all. You can see from the flames, the, the breeze that's up here, it's quite, uh, quite strong. That is now starting to burn the gas that's coming from the wood that's inside it. And if it weren't so breezy up here, I think we'd get a nice clean burn there. You can hear that really going there. Hear the roar from it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the wind, I think, that's, that's blowing it quite a lot. That is a really nice clean burn down there. So this is my first attempt to see how it will perform. Obviously, as usual, I will modify it and mess about to get the uh, to fine tune it and uh, to get it performing the way I want to. But at the moment first indications are pretty good. I think what I shall have to do is put a windshield up here around it and then I shall put my stand on and try uh, boiling something on it first of all just to see what heat it gives out. 
and all being well, we should get a nice clean burning stove that you can convert with just a couple of pieces into your rocket stove. And then when you want your rocket stove, again, you should be able to use your rocket stove as normal. Feel the heat from here. It's 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 very warm, very hot. Oh wow! I think the other thing is too is the the way you load the fuel. I've just thrown a few sticks in there, broke them up, and thrown them in. Uh, maybe if it had proper wood pellets or something like that, um, or smaller chunks of wood piled up on top of one another I think you get a better burn but um, but it's working there's no smoke coming out of that it is actually now burning the smoke that's coming out of the rocket stove so how to use your rocket stove and convert it into a wood gasifier Part one. Oh, yes, I'm happy with that. first experiment that's performing as I thought it might A really nice clean burn. You can actually, I don't know whether you can see with the camera so well. I can see it because I'm looking at it, but maybe if I take this camera off, bear with me. Try and take this out of here a minute. Down there, well, I can't hold the camera right over it because it's so damn hot. But down there, you can see the smoke that's coming off the wood, but it's not actually leaving the cooker, it's being burnt. Those are the gases which are being burnt in it. Boy, that's warm. <laughs> There we go, look at that, oh yeah, that's taking it now, that's really uh, getting established. Still got the marks on the top of the lid where I used it to mark the centre to cut the hole. And this lid is removable as well as I think you, you saw in the first part of the video. Obviously I had it off and then I've put it on. but. Uh, but I couldn't find one that I really wanted that would be an absolutely pristine dead fit on it. So I've had to modify this just to to fit it very slightly. It's just off a bin actually. And I've just cut these inserts down to, to centralize it. But you can see in here, there we go. There's the roll coming up. It's burning lovely. And the air is being fed almost like fan assisted. 
but that is just because it's the the entrance part of the feed tube on the rocket stove itself so I'm using that oh yeah that's going well okay so there you go anyway first part I hope you like it and um, when I get any further developments on this I will include those and, uh, and upload them for you to have a look at okay that's uh, that's enough from me for now oh god look at this it's really going now just when I'm ready to switch off it's starting to get cracking if it weren't so breezy here I think that would be fine and I had a a shield around this it would be great okay I'm gonna go and uh, hope you like it thanks for watching bye for now